mission is to identify food patterns that give you all the essential nutrient requirements. So they start with existing food consumption from the different population groups, different age and gender, and see what they are eating, and then they make the least number of changes they need to in order to meet all the nutrients. But for Americans, that means a lot of nutrient changes or a lot of food choice changes to meet the requirements. Actually, recommendations can be quite different from one country to the other because they have different nutrient requirements and different food patterns with different nutrient density. But most countries recommend two to three servings of dairy per day for their own citizens. So there's two strategies for setting um, the recommendations for different food groups. One is to meet the nutrient requirements as I described, but the other one is to see how much of each do you need to optimize health. So the three cups of milk or the equivalent meets most of the nutrient requirements in the patterns, but also there's evidence to show that three cups a day uh, promote bone health and decrease risk of metabolic syndrome. We don't have enough evidence as of yet to recommend individual dairy product guidelines like yogurt. Most of the studies look at dairy and take as a whole, or maybe just the milk and the yogurt and the cheese together, but not separate. There is one study recently that specifically looked at yogurt consumption and its prediction of adequate intake of many essential nutrients, and it was very good predictor. So people who consume yogurt had a higher dietary quality than people who didn't consume yogurt.